Walk me through a day taking care of the parks here in Mount Dora. Okay, first thing in the morning, we go through the entire park and we look around and make sure there's no trash. Now we have contributions from overfilled cans and we have contributions from our friends, the squirrels, who like to go into the trash cans and move things around a little bit. Usually stuff's right around there, but we want things to be pristine and ready for everybody in the morning. So the first thing we do is go through and clean, clean, clean. As the day goes on, so you've taken the garbage out for the day, um, you know, it's morning time. What else is going on with the parks? Are, are you doing maintenance? What are you doing? Well, at, at least once a week, we got to mow, mow all the parks and there's a lot of mowing to be done. And we want everything to look great. So we're mowing, making sure that all of the uh, tree limbs are picked up and uh, just in, in general we're just making sure that we take care of it and make the park a safe and fun place to be. Tell me about the work that you do not just in the parks but in our downtown landscaping on the streets uh, in the alleyways. We, part, we, may, we maintain the entire city's downtown landscape which is a lot of pruning. There's pruning in the parks, there's intense pruning in downtown area. There's a lot of things and they have to be looking nice all of the time. In the fall we have the leaves in the summertime, we have the grass to cut in all these strange shaped areas, but everything has to be kept clean. The, uh, the gutters are clean, the street sweeper goes through, but we make sure that all those stuff that the street sweeper can't reach gets taken out. We clean down at the little pier on 4th Avenue by the Yacht Club, and we clean as high up as Baker Street. And all of those areas, in the, including Donnelly Park, are part of the things that we have to keep in good order. And that means, of course, cleaning in and around all of the trash cans. Now the trash cans also get gum. People think that that's a place to stick your gum. And we also get ice cream because we have great ice cream shops downtown. And when they're old, they, they kind of get across the top of them. So we try and make sure everything's clean. We clean the dumpsters. We got some great murals on the dumpsters now, brand new, fresh. And so the outside of the dumpster areas looks good. We have to keep the inside of the area, the dumpster area is clean. So at times there are some really bad messes there that we have to clean up, but it, we keep it clean and we keep things functioning. We work in the parking garage to make sure that it's kept clean upstairs and downstairs. And uh, we mow all the way out by the entrance to uh, Highland Street. We come down that, that road a ways and then we come downtown and we clean and maintain and weed eat keep everything looking good there. What's the best feedback you've gotten about our parks? You know what, even, even nonverbal feedback, when the pandemic hit, our parks were full and not nobody was on top of each other. We have a lot of parks and a lot of space, but people who were hunkered down found refuge in our, in refuge in our parks. Um, I could tell where people were at and what they were doing just by the, the things they left behind. But it was kind of good to my heart to see that what we do was really, really helping people in a time that, you know, everything was kind of low down. It was easy for people to get outside and see a little bit of something instead of being stuck in their houses. 